excitement on one face and the look of happiness on the other. It's going to happen a lot tonight. Yes, it is, but you know they're always uh, going to be close to something else because uh, they'll be around other years. Now we're going to 112 pounds. And here comes a name that uh, you know in wrestling in the state, if you followed it very much, Chase Zapatel of Centerville, going for a championship at 112 pounds of the double A against Toe Vontanya of Fairfield. Coached by Dave Messerly, Mike Kolupnik is the Centerville coach. The official here is Marv Ryland, former wrestler, and uh, his son Mark was a wrestler at Iowa, and he lives in Iowa City now. He's the official out there watching Zapital against Montpena. Of course, Zapital, the name, he's the little brother of Chad Zapital, who was a uh, several-time All-American for the University of Iowa at 118. And Chase was a uh, state champion in 1993, two years ago. He beat Doug Schwab, who's in the finals tonight for Osage, at 103. But last year, he was upset. He did not place. And now up against... Uh, a person that he's wrestled several times. Since they're both wearing black uniforms, I want to tell you how you tell them apart. It's Chase Zapital with the white knee pads there. He has his back to you. Okay, now the other matches are here in this situation. Jared Greiner of Pekin Packwood is wrestling Jason Cassidy action, of Truro action. Interstate 35. Truro has uh, Interstate 35 is clash has wrestlers in them both the first two weights in the title match. Neither man was ranked this year, and they're out after each other. At three edge, Chad Wickman of Manchester, West Delaware, undefeated. His coach, Scott Litterer, was the coach of the year. And Robert Rivas of Des Moines East is his opponent, no, coached neutral. by Gary Rourke. We'll keep track of those for you as we go. Now, let's look, watch Chase Zapital and uh, Toe Von Pena. Zapital has not scored in this match. Von Pena has not scored. They're locking up. They've gone about a minute and 20 seconds in the... Uh, high up position here. Neither man quite getting where he wants to go. These two are action, meeting action. for the third time this se season. Uh, Van Pe uh, Von Pena beat Zapital in the big red invitational at Centerville, but Zapital beat Von Pena in the district tournament. Zapital, uh, like we said, um, is in the finals for the second time. Two years ago, a state champion at 103. And Von Pena is in against him. He is a senior from Fairfield. Zapital's also a senior. Sometimes in these lower weights, the 103, 112, you'll find underclassmen, but we've had two seniors here. Now they're going back to the center. Ready At the choice. end of the first period, Ready the choice, first. choice Green. goes to Zapital. He says, neutral. I'll defer and I'll take my choice in the third period. We need some more action. Bonpagna says he wants to go on his feet. Doesn't want to go down on the mat, he wants to start up. Nobody did anything here in the first period, no score. That was coach Dave Messerly there, looking on to his young wrestler, Toe Von Pena, who got here with, a, he didn't have an easy road. He beat a defending champion, Ben Shirk from Wilton, on the way to make it here. So he's already beaten one champion, and now he's going up against a, a champion from two years ago in Chase Zappin. Now that was his shot there. There was Wong Pena trying the single leg, but it was from too far out, and Zapital countered it. Now Zapital is working on the, off the two-on-one, the so-called Russian tie-up. Zapital says he knows where he's going to school. You want to take a guess? Well, let me see. Uh, his brother went where? Yeah, you got, you got it. What's he, the name of the state? He says he's going to Iowa. A minute and 15 seconds to go here in the second period. No score again. Pompania was the man who went under. Zapital stops him with a double underhook here. But uh, they're gonna, the referee, the Marv Ryland, is going to call this a stalemate. Let's have some honest attempts. No, that's uh, just what I might have said. Yeah, well, that's interesting. These two, like I said, have wrestled already twice this year, and Zapital lost the first match 8-1, to one, but then he turned around and won the second match 6-2, to two, so they both dominated each other one time this year. And they're both being very cautious. Back up. Uh, Bonpagna has made a couple of shots underneath, but they have not been really attempts that he likes because they were from too far out and Zapital easily fought him off. I shouldn't say easily, but without any noticeable damage. No matter, no matter what happens here, uh, Von Pena has left a legacy Break. at uh, Fairfield High. He's set the school Both records men. for the number of wins in a career and in a Both season. So stolen. he gets his we name on some trophy in. cases and, or is on some trophies in the trophy cases. 
35 seconds to go. We can't always show you the clocks because there are separate clocks for each mat, and it's very difficult to do that, get the angle on the shot. But there is the first shot by Zapato, the first one he's actually taken, a nice duck under, and he's behind Montagna for the first two points of the match. You're down, Green. 2 nothing with 15 seconds to go, second period. Yep, he got by behind Vendonia with a real nice uh, takedown there and goes ahead. So you know. Zapital starts on top. He has, uh, let's see, 17 seconds here. Montagna wants the escape before the period ends. Zapital would like to shut him off. Still down. Get all the fingers. You know, it's not even, not only this year, Doug, but last year they met three times. And uh, with Zapital winning two and Don Pena winning one. So they've all, this is the sixth time they've uh, wrestled each other in the last two years. Uh, this one for a state title, eight seconds Whoa, to nice go. job of uh, action by Von Pena and reaction by Zapatel to save a point for himself because Von Pena was out. And that's nicely done. Well, Zapatel did what he wanted to do, shut his man down. And there's Mike Halufnik, coach of Neutral. Centerville. Neutral. They've Third had some great pro the program has done great in the last few years. And now, in this period, they start even up, too, because uh, Zapital had his choice, and he wants to start up. They're both confident on their feet. Yeah, they like it on their feet. They, they like to be on their feet, and, and uh, they'll take neutral. And they've been doing this against each other the whole the whole time. 2 nothing, and there is Zapital, who got his man out of position and scores the second takedown. Right, actually... Um, what happened there is Rampagna went in and tried to do a little fireman's or Kelly there, and and uh, Zappel did stop him, you know, just with a real real stuff right there, and uh, got uh, Rampagna out of position and uh, went ahead. 4-0 now. And that was uh, that was an interesting situation, and it was important yep. for Zappel. Now Rampagna has a minute and 21 seconds Cover to it. do. Quite a bit. He has to make up four points. Well, on the 3A, get them all. We um, had a big winner with uh, Chad Wickham, who took his record from 40 and 0 to 41 and 0 from Manchester, West Delaware. Coach of the Year Scott Litter has a state champion with a fall in the finals over You're Robert down. Rivas from Des Moines, Des Moines East. So the champion on 3A has a fall. And at the 1A match. Uh, Jared Greiner of Pekin Packwood is ahead 12 to 2 over Jason Cover. Cassidy of Truro Interstate 35. Now Vontagna underneath trails by four, and Zapato is covering him just right up to there with a minute and uh, about 53 seconds to go. First point for Vontagna. He trails four to one, and he's going to have to do some shooting, but he's not in good position to make that kind of an attack. He's too far out, and Zapato is covering him very well. 40 seconds. Back up. Zapital ties up with Von Pagna, leading four to one here in the third period of the championship match at 112 pounds, recovering the 100, recovering the two A's through the first four weights. Actually, the Come first on, three action. because we're going to cover one A at 125 we need to see action. if Jason Keenan of Ogden can win his fourth state championship. Vongpanya coming straight under, straight in without the angle, has been stopped very well by Zapital, who now leads four to one and is trying to come around behind for another takedown. Two. He's got it, six to one. He's been slick on that, and it's on a state championship. Nicely done by Zapital. He controlled Vongpanya after a scoreless first period. And over on the. Uh, 1A Matt, man. unranked, That's Jared right. Greiner, after 10 losses this year, really brings it home and wins the big one for Peak and Packwood with a 12-2 win over Jason Cassidy from Truro Interstate 35. And we're going to get the awards now at the 103-pound class so you can see perhaps your young man up on the stand. One hundred relations to the Cedar Falls young man. Let's go to, let's go to Dean Moore for a floor report. Well, Doug, as you said just a few minutes ago, the record during the year doesn't mean much as long as you're in the state championship and you win it. And that's what Jared Greiner of Pequen Packwood did tonight. A 12-2 decision over Jason Cassidy of Tarot Interstate 35. And there you see that hand being raised. He's a state champion, Jared Greiner of Pequen Packwood. Dick? All right, Dean, we're going to watch Chad Wickman now as he 
throws his opponent, Robert Ravis of Des Moines East, to the mat. It was an exciting match. There you see him on his back with a minute and 34 seconds left in the contest. It was Wickman giving his coach, Scott Litterer, the 3A coach of the year, the first championship of this night for uh, the state title at 112 pounds. All right, back to you, Doug. Thank you, Dick Trotter and Dean Borg. With sixth place, Chris Goodwin, Lisbon. Fifth place, Matt Corbett, Cedar Rapids, LaSalle. Fourth place, Britt Marla, Columbus Junction. Third place, Rick Schweitzberger, Kingsley Pearson. Runner-up, Jason Cassidy, Truro, I-35. And the Class 1A 112-pound champion from Pekin Packwood, Jared Greiner. Congratulations to Jared Greiner. And to all six, in fact, who won medals here at the 112-pound class in the Class 1A. And Jimmy Rogers from Oakland in 1A beat Tim Baker from Clarksville 12 to 2. We didn't update that, so congratulations Presenting to Jimmy the Rogers. Presenting the Class 2A 112-pound awards, Coach Mike Kalupnik of Centerville. Sixth place, Matt Hackbart, NCNK Manley. Fifth place, Seth Bonson, West Lyon, Inwood. Fourth place, Pat McLaughlin, Grinnell. Third place, Ryan Cunningham, Forest City. Runner-up, Cole Bonpagna, Fairfield. And the 2A 112-pound champion from Centerville, Chase Zapital. Not the first time that a Zapital has been at the top of the stand. Chase, the 2A champion there, 112 pounds. Remember, we have an, at, uh, coming up next here, 125-pounder, we'll see Jason Keenan of Ogden going for his fourth title, trying to become one of the four-time champions. And you can be here to watch it live. Presenting the Class 3A 112-pound awards, Coach Scott Litter of Manchester, West Delaware. Sixth place, Mike Harrison, West Des Moines Valley. Fifth place, Matt Nelson, Fort Madison. Fourth place, Jamie Allison, Fort Dodge. Third place, Ben Barnes, Johnston. The runner-up, Robert Rebus, Des Moines East. And the Class 3A 112-pound champion from Manchester, West Delaware, Chad Wickman. And that was a champion who won with a fall, Chad Wickman. Let's go to Dean Borg for a floor report. 